Hello guys and welcome back to Proper Food. Now are any of you lovely lot after a decent curry recipe? Well look no further, because here I have my ultimate butter chilli chicken curry. This recipe is actually a two step process. The first one being we need to marinate our chicken thighs. So what I've got here, some natural yogurt, and that's gonna allow the marinade to penetrate into the chicken. So let's just get that in there. It's about 100 ml going in. And then it's time for some spices. So here, I've got some garam masala, a little bit of turmeric, and that's gonna go in as well. We've also got a couple of cloves of garlic, a little thumb-sized piece of ginger, which has just been grated. And then finally, we've got some curry paste. Now, this is just gonna help bolster all of those flavors. This is a korma paste. Give that a good old stir, making sure everything's really well combined. Then we wanna add in the juice of around half a lemon. So get that in there. Give it a good stir, cover it, and then that's gonna go into the fridge for at least two hours. But if you can do this a day ahead and leave it overnight, that is gonna be beautiful. Just look at how the chicken's taken on all those amazing flavors and spices. So now it's time to try and get a little bit of caramelization onto these bad boys, because that is gonna add bags of flavor to this curry. The key to this stage now is to not overcrowd the pan. So I've got over a medium to high heat, a splash of oil, then what we do, just get our chicken, lay that into the pan, and we wanna give it a couple of minutes, don't move it, just to give it time to just caramelize. So put these to one side and then repeat with other bits of chicken until they're all done. And this is what we're looking for. Look at this beautiful caramelization and that equals flavor. But don't worry because we're gonna slow cook this chicken until it's cooked through and it's beautiful and tender and it's gonna take on even more flavor. Now it's time to build the rest of the curry. So pop the chicken to one side and then into my pan over a medium heat. I've got some oil, but I'm also gonna add into that about a heat tablespoon of butter. So just melt that down, and then we're gonna add in our onions. So I've got two small onions or one large one. Just give them a fine slice or a chop, whatever you fancy, and then get them into the pan so they cook really nice and slow. Now the oil within the pan is gonna stop the butter from burning. So just get the onions in, and we wanna cook these on a low to medium heat, and I wanna give them around 10 minutes because I want them to cook down, become really nice and sweet, and almost caramelized. So whilst the onions are cooking down, we can actually prep our chili. Now no two chilies are the same. So it's quite important that you try just a little bit just to let you know how hot it is. So let's have a little go at this. Almost <clears throat> instantly regretting that. <laughs> um, the actual hot part of the chili is within the seeds and the pith, as you can see here. So if you don't really like the chili heat, you can actually remove that. I don't mind it, now this is a butter chili chicken, so it needs a bit of a kick. So I'm gonna leave some of the seeds in. Um, I'm just gonna take my knife and I'm gonna finely dice this chili to pop into the pan along with the onions. So first we cut into long strips, spin it around, and then just use your knife just to go through and finely chop. 
Now we're gonna add this into the pan, along with a thumb-sized piece of ginger, which has been grated, and three cloves of garlic, which has been crushed. So get that in, give it a good old stir, and cook out for two or three minutes more. Now this is what we're looking for. Check that out there. We've got our onion, garlic, ginger and chili, just cook down. It'll go really nice and sweet. And then into that, we're gonna add some more flavors. So I've got a teaspoon of turmeric, a tablespoon of garam masala. We also got two tablespoons of our tikka masala paste going in there and also a really good pinch of salt, a grind in the black pepper, give that a stir and then let that cook out for around two or three minutes more. And then into the pan we're going to add a 400 gram tin of chopped tomatoes and then we want around sort of 200 ml of water or chicken stock would be good as well just to add that extra level of flavour. Bring that up to a simmer and then just let that reduce down for a few minutes. Would you just look at that? Really rich, buttery, packed full of flavour. And then into that pan, we're gonna add the chicken back in, along with any juices. We give that a really nice stir and then just let that simmer down for around 20 minutes until the chicken's cooked through. The curry's had around 20 minutes now and it just looks absolutely delicious. The chicken's lovely and tender. But I do have one final ingredient that I want to add into this. And it's a couple of tablespoons of natural yogurt. So just get that into the pan. And then just give that a good old stir just to make sure everything's well combined. And there you have it. I've just garnished that up with a little bit of coriander, but I've kept it to one side. Comment down below whether you love coriander or hate coriander. I love the stuff, but I know it's a bit of a perfumey herb. I served this up with some naan breads, some pilau rice. There you have my butter chili chicken curry. Now, if you want the recipe for this, it's down in the description. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, comment, all of the above, and I'll see you next week for some more proper food. You're gonna need to try this.